Hey guys, this is a video response to a thread I was reading over at BlenderArtist.org. This is the Telephone Aperture Laboratories thread in the Works in Progress section by Anurag underscore zero one. This is a pretty cool project. This is the phone that you see in GLaDOS's chamber when you, uh, when you go to fight the end boss in Portal. So, pretty cool project. Um, it's looking really good. I had one critique that I thought would be easier to make this video than to explain here in the thread and it's right in here. Uh, it looks like you've applied the subsurf um, and that and the phone itself is looking really good. The modeling on the handle is exceptional uh, but it's right here on the dial. Let me zoom in a little bit. There are so many vertices you can kinda you can barely even see them. Um, and it looks like you've just filled in in these spots where uh, I think you said you spin duplicated that uh, cylinder or something. So I'm just going to show you a quick tip on how we can do that a little bit quicker, maybe a bit cleaner and definitely fewer vertices. So shift A, add a curve circle, and we're going to go into our curve options and drop the resolution to 4. 7 and 5 to top orthographic view. Shift D, scale to 0.12 works well for this, and drop the resolution on that to 2. Tab into edit mode, grab on the X, negative 0.7 and we're going to change our pivot point to 3D cursor, shift D, rotate 22.5 degrees, AA to select everything, shift D, rotate 45, AA, shift D, rotate 90, shift D, rotate 90 again. Okay, we don't need all of these though, because we only need the, the 10, come on, the 10 buttons. So delete those guys, tap back out, Select our first one and control J and make sure we switch that to 2D and then Alt C mesh from curve. We're going to tab in, select everything, W, remove doubles, Alt F to beautify the mesh a couple times, and then Alt J to turn it to quads. Control tab, we're going to switch into edge select mode and grab a couple of these that, uh, that don't look very good. And we are just going to delete the edges. Now just turn that one back into a face so it matches the rest of these. Grab these three, extrude and scale to about, I'd say about there. Make a face here and another one there. Okay, and we're just gonna select all of those Hold down Alt to clear that other selection. And just delete these. Okay, and extrude and scale this in a bit more. Hit Shift Alt S and just kind of run your mouse over to the right a bit and it'll turn it uh, into a circle. I think it's called two sphere. So I'm just going to start filling these in. Okay, uh, let's control tab and go to vertex select and just kind of make that a little bit nicer looking. Okay, uh, let's tab back out and hit control 2 to add a subsurf modifier and tab back in. We're going to extrude just a little bit, extrude some more, and extrude just a little bit. That way we get all these loop cuts on the outside and also there on the inside back out. Uh, set it smooth and we see we got some normal problems so select everything control N and tab back out. Okay it's looking pretty good and one other thing that uh, a lot of people skip but if you want uh, a lot of control over over your vertices how many you are you have uh, you can see we have about 7,000 right now if we apply our subsurf and tab back in we can actually, what did we do? Okay, delete a lot of these edge loops. We don't even need them. So we got that around the side. There's a lot more here in the middle we can delete. And if we go to the back side, 
we can delete all of those vertices because they'll never show up in your render either. Also, um, since we've already done our subsurfing, oh, come on, it's not going to uh, make as much a difference to go in and do something like this and merge all those. And you can see that we now have almost a thousand less vertices than we even had before. So um, there it is, just a quick tip, and I hope it helps. Thanks.